I'm so mad. My mom totally invited that one girl to come. She's like, no, have you heard of her? I have. Where is she from again? I think she's from like Northern Europe or something, but like, where's that even from? I have no idea. I've never even heard of Europe before. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. So I bought the Polly Pocket 72 piece set and the, what? Hello. I bring ground turkey as a peace offering. We would always give the first crop of the summer as a sign of peace and friendship. Well, do you want to come sit on the bed with us? Or... I have a build a bear Do you know what that is? Or... A bed. I only sleep on the floor. It reminds me of my home country. Um, okay, where, wherever you want to sit, I guess. I came from a family of 15 children. My mother was so poor, she could not afford a bed. We would sleep on the cold, hard floor. Every evening, you could feel the freezing cold winds from the winter blowing in through the, the cracks. When we had no blankets, we would just Cuddle up together on the hardwood floor and be thankful for the country that we lived in. One year, we found a lot of stray cats and we let them move in with us. There was a good ratio of cats to humans, three to one. It smelled so bad, but they kept us warm in the winter. This is Muggsy. And this is Piggy. Do you have any stuffed animals or any toys? Stuffed animals? What is the point if it does not provide meat or warmth for the human? Stuffed? Stuffed with what? Is that... Is, is that the yak's wool? This is such a delicacy in my country. How did you get... Who did you kill to get this? Um, TJ Maxx, I think. TJ Maxx? I knew a Max in my village. He probably deserved to die, just like the Max in my village. Uh, what happened to Max? What didn't happen to Max before we killed him? He was drugged through the streets by dogs and everybody took their apple crops from the springtime and threw them at him and once he was brought to the village square he was hung where everybody watched in satisfaction <laughs> mom mom mom